Time for school. School. No, put that back, my cat. Morning, Eli. It's the first day of school. <laughs> so how did your summer go? Good. Yeah. Yeah. But you were on the screen a lot, weren't you? Mm-hmm. That's what I like to do. Well, it's, you have to start being less on the screen and more reading, okay? Oh. Hey, what happened to the kid that used to read all the time? Huh? Turn into a preteen? You're gonna be 11 years old. You know that? I know. Yeah. So what do we got here? This is a lunch for a kid with a lot of food allergies. And it's basically the same thing for ceramic. Those are veggie chips. Sweet potato chips. Yeah, sweet potato chips, uh, well, cucumber, and little chocolate chips. And uh, the turkey slices or chicken, chicken slices. And they some can't butter be, can't with eat turkey right now, so. homemade bread with some butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to have to carry these. It doesn't fit in their bag. This is what... Uh, this is what we use instead of peanut butter. Your snack is in here, in your, in your, that's what I have for today. I'm gonna make better snacks. Too. It's it's not a crunchy one today, it's super soft. They're new ones, they're good. <coughs> Eli, so what was your, what was the best part of summer? Uh, uh, what was yours? No, no, what was yours? I don't know. You don't know? Everything was good. Are you looking forward uh, to going to school? Yeah. Yeah. What grade are you going to be in? Grade one. <gasps> wow. Big boy grade. Homework starts. Uh oh. Wait, mommy. What's the coffee? Your shoes? Yeah, yeah we're going to put them on, okay? Oh, uh, first day back, uh, school pictures, huh? No, no, I need to see your eyes. Boys getting some exercise on the first day of school. Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> Eli. Bye. Okay. Who told you? Are you gonna be okay? But Sam, Sam, if there's any, if there's any problem, you have to go to Sarah's starting to feel a little bit better from the, what happened to her. And for those who don't know what happened to her, um, ba basically she she was at the movie theater with her friend and Sam, and they're trying to spend a, a nice li little afternoon uh, like with just the two of them. Well, uh, with just the three of them basically. And uh, and well, like um, she started feeling with heart complications, and then she started to pass out. And and then her heart rate was like at one thirty. The ambulance took her to the hospital, and then uh, well, she was there overnight, and well, it was just a one long weekend for us. She's gonna go see other doctors uh, for many other tests for like her kidneys, and for like she also had a low potassium, 
on top of it. And it just, uh, I, I'm probably missing one or two things, but it's just, you get it. Like, uh, what you, that's, let's just hope things are starting to look up for us after this because we don't need more and more and more like health scares like this in our family and uh, like we now we just have to watch out how much we do throughout the day and like just take it easy in between what we're doing and even for me like um i was today i was at the grocery store and like i, like, I couldn't carry much and because of my, I felt my my wrist like just almost gave out on me. Like I couldn't, uh, I couldn't lift the groceries. And this is why I'm wearing this. I I had this last time. I had low calcium, and I had to wear this. So it's uh, I I get what they say when you do when they say dirty thirties. It really is dirty, and uh, so yeah. I would start going into details about what happened that day, but like I'm exhausted and just I didn't vlog because it wasn't the right timing to do it. I wasn't there, so I couldn't just like pick up the camera and be like this the whole time. Um, so it's just an unfortunate incident and uh, geez, uh, both of us are going for a lot of testing. So just to get our health back on track, we've been uh, focusing on the kids so much that uh, sometimes we forget about us and uh, we, we need to concentrate on our health as well and your health as well. Don't ever forget about your health. Like sometimes you just don't know how strong you are until you have to go through what, what you're going through in life. Just keep fighting and like just keep, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. So thank you guys for watching and keep watching.